Hey guys, this is Mini Pekka Cakes back at it again with another Lego Transformer. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing a new Lego Transformer, and his name is Phobia. So as you can see, Phobia is a black and white army truck, and because he's an army truck, he must have weapons, right? So yes, we have these two guns which also turns into his guns for robot mode so these guns are on jumper plates which can twist around so what they do is that they plug into the port right into the back like so and now you got a full armed truck and since uh, they're on jumper plates, they can rotate 360 degrees in any direction. Okay, so yeah, I'll get those weapons out of the way. So, pretty much this is his truck mode. So, if I couldn't, if I didn't have much wheels left for his um front, I didn't have these wheels for his front truck. So, I just decided to go with this small one, just for the front. Got his grill, and you got his um, windshield. You got it. I tried making some small details such as the um, side view mirrors. Okay, and then you got a smokestacks. And you got the back license plate bumper. And coming to the front, you got this really smooth with plates. And you got this uh, archway piece which comes down from the um, cab. You got these side windows, and there there's a gap in there. But that doesn't bother me too much because you don't always look at him from that side. Okay, yeah, so he's basically just a, um, his robot mode just incorporates it to his vehicle mode. So anything that looks like his um, um, robot is actually actually a part of his vehicle mode. So yeah, so for compar size comparison, here we're going to bring him heavy wing. As you can see, I also made heavy wing with some black colors to give him some more of a sh uh, cooler look. And also, um, in my early video, I didn't explain that, but his knee pad section should be pointing inwards. So, I just want to clear that out. So, as you can see, Phobia is so much more bigger than Heavy Wing in size comparisons, because he's a bit longer, and he's a lot taller. So, let's bring that off the side. Yeah, so we got that. So let's transform Phobia. Oh yeah, and one more size comparison. We have our minifigure. So it looks like he could probably sit in there, but the windshield isn't too big. So maybe the mini maybe my thing is a, a little undersized, but I think it's fine. Now we get the transformation. So his transformation is my most complicated one yet out of the two transformers I've made so far. So let's see what to do first. So first thing I do is take the smokestack sections bring them out like so as you can see these become the legs flip out the knee pad so his knee pads become his roof in vehicle mode and then, and then the roof becomes his knee pad so, yeah. and as you can see he becomes really tall smoke tacks become his toes and let's get to the front of the truck so bring the truck down like so and what first thing you do take this section Bone it up and rotate it all the way. Oh no, it fell off. It's clearance issues make it a bit more uh, really hard, really easy to f fall off and just rest it as much as you can. Next thing you want to do is take the entire windshield section, fold it down, and you want to take these uh, side view mirrors and fold them back like so. And the, the, you'll see what these become. And next you want to do is fold up this roof section up. And now since it's all on the jumper plate, you're going to rotate this. Oh no. You have to rotate it. So you basically just rotate it like that. It's really loose, this um, thing. So what you're going to do. Oh no, my battery is only on 15%. Okay, well, let's wrap this video up pretty quickly. And you finish my transformation. It's a really hard transformation. So next you want to do is, uh, before you... Fold it down before it goes down and let it rest like that. 
So now you got this wavy motion down there. Finally, I'm gonna do this, this panel out. And I'm gonna show you his head now, so let's bring it up standing. And that's the head in his robot mode. Now for the arms. For the arms, what you're gonna do, take these two sections, they're uh, on another jumper plate that's right there. You're gonna, I don't know. Jumper plates are really, really loose. Pull them out. And as you can see, that reveals his fake chest. His abdomen. So let's see, I'm gonna bring the him down. Like, and you're gonna do is flip both of these all the way as far as they can go without um, cl clearing the thing. And next thing you wanna do is flip out his hand and bring it all the way down. There we go, and same thing for the other side. You can flip it all the way up, bring out the hand, and fold it all the way up. Oh, no. yeah, I'm just gonna tap it in and do that. Here, so I'm gonna tap that in, and see, it's only hanging on by one stud. So it's really, really loose. I didn't have any more ball joints for my transformers, so um, I had to use this, so yeah. And there we go, and look at him all standing up. Let's get him all standing up. And there is Phobia in his robot mode. So this is Phobia. So as you can see, his smokestack's legs make him pretty tall. Taller than he's supposed to be. His um, side view mirror becomes part of his helmet. And there's a bunch of kibble back there for vehicle mode purposes. As you can see, the back of the truck becomes his big chest and his shoulders, and the um, the windows of the cab become his um, chest, and you got that fake chest right there. Um, yeah. So and a lot of this is a jumper plate and stud and a bunch of studs. So yeah, got his really short hands and elbows, and his uh, shoulder expand way out, coming close to the face. He's, that panel becomes his mouth a bit, and those are his eyes. Coming down to the legs, he has smokestack, legs, and his knee pads. So yeah, let's get to articulation-wise. So I'm going to bring him down a bit. So articulation-wise, all his head can do is go up, go up, down, and his mouth can go side to side. So it can look like he's a bit confused or something, like that. And he can move around his um, antennae, helmet, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So his shoulders, um, I'm not going to demonstrate, I need to hold this camera. So they can go up and down like they did for transformation. And his um, elbow joints, his um, uh, arm can go up and down the same, and so can his hand. They cannot do a 360 motion because of clearance issues. Same for this side. Legs, I'm going to demonstrate because I can bring them down. You can go in, you can go out, sorry, and the knee pad moves with it. So, yeah, and this piece right here is blocking um, um, inward motion, and that's there for design for vehicle mode. So, you can change that if you want um, better, uh, uh, what do you call it, movement. Yes, so for a size comparison, let's bring him with his. Companion heavy wing, and also for heavy wing, his feet, you have to flip them out so that way it's standing like that. So that's why he was a bit more shorter. Size comparison. As you can see, Phobia is a bit taller than heavy wing um, because of he's a head taller. And for a size, another size comparison, we finally bring in our little minifigure. And you can see how that scales. So. The legs are pretty short, but the body is pretty tall, so yeah, it's a pretty tall transformer. And let's finally show him with Voltron, the biggest Lego thing I have. Let's bring him back. Okay, make sure he straightens out, because he's really, really fragile if he falls. Let's see how he scales with that. He's a bit taller than one of Voltron's lion legs, so yeah, it's pretty good scale for a really big robot against a small transformer. And for instructions, um, for him, I don't know if I'm going to do instructions. 
unless uh, this video gets a bunch of likes and um, views, I don't know if anyone will be interested in making instructions for him. I might do instructions for Heavy Wing pretty soon. Okay. So yeah, now because he's an armor truck, he has his weapons. So we have his guns, like so. And for robot mode, you have to twist them around so that way two studs are facing um, outward and there's one gap down there. So you fold them out like so. And then you're going to tab it into his hand. There's one stud right there. Taps it to that port right there. And oh no, the arm fell off. Dang it. Okay, um, I'll just show you up close. So what it does is I suppose to tab in right there and it stays in pretty well. So yeah, let's get the arm ready. And I'll show you him with his weapons. Okay, fast forward. There is Phobia with his weapons. And yeah, you can see pretty how pretty menacing he looks. With the, those weapons, his hands just probably just turn to that and he's about to like shoot you with his double guns. Yeah, so that can be it for this video. So if you like this video, please subscribe and like, and don't hit the notifications bell. And this is Mini Pekka Cakes signing out.